I'm Patrick. Answering question will be asked Patrick series. This question is asked by Spin Forum for you. The question is, how do I prepare for CAT and the other exams, entrance exam which I get? Doesn't it clash? Or should I focus on other exams and focus not focus on CAT? What is it? How do I balance my preparation? We will look at the whole cycle of preparation for the entrance exam. There are two exams which I believe sort of clashes with CAT. The NMAT and the IFT. All the other exams including SNAP, ZAT are after CAT and you have ample time to prepare for them. So if you are prepared for CAT, you will prepare with your basics for all the other exams and you have ample time to prepare for the other exams. No doubt about it. Don't worry about the other exams. So focus on CAT as far as preparation goes. Coming to NMAT and IFT. Okay, let's start with IFT. IFT is one week after CAT. So normally whatever you prepare for CAT will definitely help you for IFT. So all the students who have seen cracking the IFT exam are the people who have given CAT seriously and the one week in between IFT and CAT they wrote a few mocks of IFT to get used to the IFT paper pattern. Yes, there's one thing in IFT which is different, which is the GK section, which maybe you can start preparing a little early. So when you prepare reading news, you will maybe make notes of some amount of GK that should help you for your IFT exam. That's it. Don't need to do anything else. Focus on a little bit of GK. The rest of the preparation for mathematics, BI, etc., you can do it after your CAT. That one week is sufficient for you to prepare for IFT, provided you're prepared for CAT properly. Which is only one exam in math. In math is before the CAT. You start before the exam. CAT. You have October to December to write the exam. And it depends on how important is NMAT for you. I mean, for some people, NMAT is really important. For some, it is not. So your time you give for NMAT will depend upon how you feel it's important. If you feel it's not important, you're giving the examination just as and when you're writing CAT, then maybe even one week or 10 days is sufficient for NMAT. So give yourself one week or 10 days, let's say 10 days before the NMAT exam. Write a few mocks because you have to change your pace from maybe logic-based exam to speed-based exam. NMAT is a speed-based exam, it will be fast. The concept will be clear with CAT, the mathematical concept. But you will still build your pace. So that will only help when you solve the mocks. So solving mocks 10 days before the exam, okay, getting used to the space. Apart from that, a few new questions specifically in logic and maybe in English which are there. Practice those separately. So if you can do that, that will help you for NMAT. But if NMAT is really important for you, then start one month before your NMAT exam. Prepare for CAT. One month before your NMAT exam, start balancing your CAT with NMAT. Start writing mocks for NMAT. Know which areas are new in NMAT. Start preparing for those areas along with your CAT preparation. And maybe 15 days before NMAT, focus completely on NMAT and go about NMAT. So if NMAT is important, one month before NMAT, mocks along with your CAT preparation, knowing what is new. 15 days before NMAT, focus completely on NMAT and prepare for NMAT before the NMAT exam. Understand, mock writing for each exam is important because the strategy that you involve for each exam will be very different from the way you write CAT. Strategy makes a lot of difference in your scores. Also, every, question, every exam will have some flavor which is different. The type of question that comes for DI, or the type of question that comes in logic, the type of question that comes in maybe English. So you need to be able to brush up on these new type of question. That helps that you should do. Right? I hope this helps to clear how to go about preparing. Thank you.